a few months ago I got this really great piece of hardware here which is the Ableton Push. It's run in conjunction with this software here which is Ableton Live. Um, if I press play in this song you'll see it's sending MIDI messages to the hardware and there's an array of LED buttons which light up uh, based on the MIDI signals. These are also um, touch sensitive um, and it's just a really great uh, hardware so software combo for creating music. Um, the push has a second mode uh, called user mode, um, which is basically a blank canvas in which we can send MIDI messages to it. So I've been playing around a little bit with uh, two node packages. Uh, one is MIDI, the other is MIDI stream. And these, uh, in a really simple way, allow us to send messages to the hardware. Um, so this is a wrapper over some C++ library I have never used before. So I'm just going to create a simple node application. I'll just accept the defaults. And uh, let's see what first thing to do is to install this package. MIDI. So I'm going to create a simple uh, JavaScript file where we're going to log out some information just to kind of discover the environment that we're working under. Um, so to use this, we require MIDI and we can get input. It will give us uh, the number of available ports and we'll also be able to get the names of those ports um, and send messages to the ports. So let's do that. So we'll require MIDI, we get an input and then we get the port count. Okay, two ports, cool, and to get the name of them, we call get port name. So let's just list out all of the ports. takes the index. Like that. Okay, so there's two ports. Um, we're on user port, so it seems like that's the one we actually want. Um, now I think it's possible to talk to the mini channels here. Um, you can do input and output. I found that looking at the docs for a mini stream, it's actually a little uh, easier. Um, it provides a duplex stream wrapper so we can read and write to the same thing all at the same time. So uh, let's use from here on in, let's use MIDI stream now that we have the name of the port. So uh, let's see, require MIDI stream. We want to uh, access the push and I'll use this here, this identifier to, or this name to grab it. I'm not sure what that zero is. Let's see if it works without it. Um, so we can go push dot on data. Uh, we can log it out. So let's, let's just do that. So on data, I'm gonna just send it to console.log. So if this works, we should be able to run this. Uh, okay, of course I have not yet installed this package uh, MIDI stream. Okay. So now if I press some buttons, you can see that it's actually giving us some output. Um, 
So if I hold down one, um, if I just tap them, you can see it cycles between uh, 144 and 128. So it seems that 144 is a node on, uh, 128 is a node off. There's also 160 there. Um, I think if I actually hold down a button and press it uh, harder and softer, it's actually giving us velocity information. This is like a after touch. Um, so that's uh, the second number, 92. Seems like that's the actual index of the key that's pressed. So just looking for the lowest number. It seems to be this one here in the lower left is 36, 37, 38 beside it, uh, 39 all the way up. And uh, then these jump up. So it seems like it goes from the bottom left uh, to the right and then uh, cycles its way up like that all the way up to the top right which is 99 so that gives us our 64 keys uh, the third number is the velocity so if i hit hit a uh, hit it softly you can see it's a lower number if i hit it harder it's a higher number and then again we have the after touch and that also works with velocity you see if i touch it softly it goes down i can actually control it quite um quite finely by pressing it uh, soft and light. Um, so with that, um, I guess we have enough information to be able to send the device some MIDI uh, notes. So let's uh, just send a single note. Um, so to do that, we can write to it. And you can see here it's actually using 144 as well. So let's uh, say push the right and it takes an array of numbers, an array of three numbers. So 144, uh, 70, I think is the index of the, as we saw on the output here, it's the index of the actual key. And then uh, the third one is velocity. So I'll just pick 100. So in MIDI, velocity goes from 0 to 128. So let me run that. And you can see that it actually lights up a key, which is pretty cool. Um, so I just light up a couple of contiguous key, uh, keys and send in some different values to kind of see what what actually happens. Save that and off run that. Okay, so whole set of blue colors. Uh, so that's cool. Um, how about we try and send all of the colors to a single key and see what that looks like. So um, there are 128 of these velocities and these seem to map to colors. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we want to write something to the bush. Uh, 144, uh, note on. This time uh, we'll send it to 70 key again. This time we'll pass in I which will be the, vo the uh, velocity, which will be incrementing. So if I run this, okay. So it seems like it ended up uh, with a single color. Um, probably what's happening here is it's just sending 128 messages to that same key all around about the same time. And it just happens so quick that we just end up seeing the very last one, which happens to be red. Um, so it'd be cool if we could put a, little delay in here so i'm just going to write a little function called play which will take a note and velocity and also uh delay in milliseconds so that we can uh pause between um, messages so this will use set timeout and it will invoke push dot right and take the note, the velocity, and it will delay. It will pass the delay into the set time it. Instead of writing directly now, we will call play. We will pass, the note will be, let's say 70 again. The velocity will be I, and then the delay will be, this will be milliseconds. So if we pass in I by 10, that will be, 1.28 seconds. So let's do, 
If we do 100, it should last about 13 seconds. So if I run this, um, you can see it's actually cycling through all of the different colors. How about we send these messages to all of the keys instead of just a single one? So there are 64 of those. Um, it's, uh, as we saw, it starts at 36. The bottom left one is 36. Um, it goes up to 99. So here, instead of passing in 70, we'll pass in J, which will be the key. I should actually call this key, right? Key, key, much better. And this is the velocity. So we should, if we run this, see the, yeah, all keys updating at the same time, uh, which is cool. Let's see if we can make it faster. All right, too fast. The last thing that I'd like to do would be a little nice if these kind of fanned out. They're all just happening at the same time. It would nice. It would be nice if they kind of went. Yeah, the colors changed in waves. Um. So I guess we can play around with the delay. Uh, right now, delay is just a multiple of velocity. So it's it's um, it's always going to change at the same interval. So they all change at the same time. But if we uh, modify it by key, or if we introduce key into the delay, um we can add some uh, some fanning out of the, the uh, time outs. I guess we could also multiply it by uh, the key. So if we add on the key, let's just experiment 30. Um, so this will mean that the delay increases as the key uh, for each key. So we should see kind of waves of updates. Um, sorry, you didn't see the code there. Um, so I introduced this uh, key by 30 here. Um, the delay will uh, not just be based on the velocity, it will also be based on the key. So uh, can, keys next to each other will have slightly uh, offset of delays. So we should see some sort of uh, wave pattern. So if I run this, Hopefully it works. Okay, that's something. Um, that's pretty good actually. Uh, it goes, it's going a little fast, so I guess if I lower that, that will lower that value. It'll go twice as slow. Oh, twice as fast. Let's go the other way. Let's go 80. Um, okay, I think finally, if I increase this, this will increase the spread. So the colors will be, um, no, I'm wrong. If I reduce it, yeah, that's better. So now we have uh, nice waves of colors. Pretty cool.